Yo, what is going on guys? Jack here, and welcome to episode 88 of our Tracksuit to the Top series here with Lewis FC. And today, we're going to be kicking off our Champions League knockout stage campaign. And, well, we could have asked for an easier first draw, I guess you could say. So we are going to be taking on Barcelona here uh, in uh, this game. Uh, this episode is actually going to be a double header. We're going to do the Barcelona game, and then I'm going to skip forward and also do the Premier League game against Liverpool. Liverpool, of course, have only lost... Uh, one league game all season, so they are a very good team. They currently sit in third in the leagues. So that's going to be a big game for us to try and win. But first and foremost, we've got to prioritise what we do here. And uh, I feel like the Champions League has to kind of be the main kind of goal and I guess the centre of my attention going into this game. But anyway, before we get into this game, just two results to tell you guys about. Since the Manchester United result... The first was a 3-3 free -free draw against Fulham. Really disappointed. We dominated the game. Matthew Lewis did gra grab two. Alexander Haas grabbed one. But unfortunately for us, we just couldn't seem to find that fourth goal that would have got us the win. Fulham, not doing well in the league at all. They are a newly promoted team. They sit rock bottom. And they got a point against us. And fair play to them. They defended well. But that was really disappointing. The next result was a 3-1 win against Leeds. A much better performance. Um... We waited late, I guess, to secure the win, getting two goals uh, in the last 10 minutes, but we were leading for the majority of the game, um, despite actually going down initially for just two minutes, we bounced back well. But anyway, uh, today we're just going to focus straight into these games. One little bit of news to tell you guys about, and that is the fact that Matthew Lewis is injured. He bruised his ribs. <laughs> So he's out for three to five days or something tiny, but it means he can't play today. So we are without our leading goal scorer. He's going to be back in one or two days, so he will be back for the Liverpool game. But that does mean a bit of a change of... Sh well, not a change of shape, but change of um, player base. Because Matthew Lewis has pretty much for the entire season played poachers. So Suarez and Haas both come into the side. I actually want to play Haas as the complete forward. And um, we're going to try and attack from the off. We're playing Barcelona away. It's not going to be easy, obviously Barcelona, the, the giants of Europe, I guess, in many people's eyes. A very, very strong team. They've still got Messi as their key man, so, um, yeah, it's not going to be easy. They've got Messi, Suarez, Neymar still. They've got Grimaldo. Um, who else? they got Insua, uh, Bartra, Testegen. Yeah. Um, it's not going to be easy, but we're going to get straight into this. I'm hopeful that we can get a good result here. Despite the odds being against us, away goals could be important. This is the first knockout stage. This is the first time we've reached this stage of the competition. This is the board's minimum expectation. I'm glad that the board kind of think we can get here and no further because this is going to be very, very tough against Barcelona. But we're going to kind of follow the philosophy of Lewis and the philosophy that I've kind of drilled into this side of attack, attack, attack and hope that you score enough to outscore the opposition. It's been the common theme throughout this save and I'm hoping that we can continue to kind of abide by that and it's going to pay off today. Although Barcelona on the attack here, a good tackle, but um, you can see them committing plenty of men forward and Messi breaks free of his man. Neymar free, what a block that was. Who was that with the block? I think I think that was a Corre there with the block. So a great block by him. Pretty sure. I just want to check this actually. I think a Corre might be on loan from Barca. If I remember. He is. But we, we got the clause. Or rather didn't get the clause in. Which means he can't play against his parent club. Or his actual club I guess you'd call them. But um, Barcelona with a set piece. So we need to defend this. Suarez. Kuraku with the save. But... It is bundled into the back of the net. And Luis Suarez with his 12th goal of the season. I'm just thinking about this. Some of these players must really be getting on a bit in this Barcelona attack. Like They must not be on their last legs, but there can't be many more years of them dominating Europe with this front line. But Kuraku with the initial attempted save, but Suarez there for the rebound. And looking at the stats, we're actually matching Barcelona's possession, but Barca just doing so much more with it. We need to get a grip on this game. This is feeling all too similar to the Manchester United game and they're on the attack again here. Messi whips in the ball, headed away this time. Can we launch a counter-attack? No, we can't. And now Barcelona with the ball again. And Messi's got it at his feet again. He does the man again. Right, Meyer though, this time recovering quite well, the German centre-back. He's going to have a tough, tough task ahead of him today. And Neymar down the right-hand side, going to be trying to get the ball in. And he does get the ball in and Messi wins it. And it's 2-0, and this is already going horribly wrong. A Corre apparently with the own goal. Well, I want the match-fixing committee to look into this. Not what we needed, not what we wanted, and that is really, really poor in the end. 
I think I'm actually going to make a change here already. And uh, I'm going to switch to our four at the back system. And hope that this works in our favour. Um, this does, however, leave us with the dilemma of what do we do with Martinez? Because Martinez is, of course, a right winger. But I think we just have to make the change. I think like, we have to... Um, just be bold here and make a bold decision and that bold decision right now is to switch to our four at the back system and hope that that gives us a little bit more defensively. I assume McCorey was the best right back choice out of the players we just put on. Uh, Seaman can play right back actually, that makes a lot more sense. There we go, right. Four at the back, can this help us here? My, my big worry was the fact that we had Neymar, Suarez and Messi playing as almost a front three and we're stuck with three centre backs and they were just kind of getting swamped and that's actually something that in hindsight kind of happened in the Manchester United game so we're going to make that change this system isn't that dissimilar to our main system it's the system we used last year and it served us quite well in terms of getting top four but um, the three at the back was my priority but you know sometimes you have to bite the bullet and change things back and it has served us a little bit better now this system although Barcelona with another clear cut chance there Kuwaku with another save the goalkeeper's been in fine form recently making some huge saves in the big games and that's another one to add to his little scrapbook need to defend these set pieces as well and we have done well there to be honest after that initial Suarez goal from the set piece we, we've looked a little bit better defensively although Barcelona still with the ball here Geis, Geis, Neymar, Seaman tackles, and that'll do. If we can get to half time at 2 0, there's hope. If we can get a goal before half time, that'd be fantastic. Sores, Sonogo, Sonogo bangs it in and against the run of play. Well, I say against the run of play, we've actually stepped up our game a lot since we changed shape. We, we get a goal, we make it 2 1. That away goal is big here. Sores with the short uh, throw in landing at his feet. Sonogo with a yard of space in the box and then really nicely placed shot. The keeper just caught off sighted by the centre back in front of him. And that, that's better. That's better. We, we're still not by any means in control of this game, but to get the away goals big, if we can now get into half time at 2 1, that would be a decent first half, particularly after going 2 0 down so early on so I'm going to tell the players they've, they've been unlucky so far they're loving that I'm going to tell them that I've also got faith in them they look relaxed a lot of them looking motivated and confident they are loving it in fact we don't have Matthew Lewis a massive miss but to get a goal there is good I mean Sores and um, name's gone from my head now Haas our two strikers have been in fine form this season. They've performed really well this year as kind of second men to Matthew Lewis. I think they've got about 30 goals combined, so they're doing well again here. And they're, they're certainly players who are capable of playing in these games and, you know, stepping up, I guess, to the mark. But looking at this here, Barcelona on the attack. We need to defend well. Ball being carried inside. Suarez at the edge of the area. Neymar cuts inside. Great tackle, but the ball falls to Suarez. And that's 3-1, unfortunately. Appeals for offside. I think it came off the defender, unfortunately. Neymar cut it inside. I guess the appeals were for the Neymar run. But Suarez able just to tap it in there and make it 3-1. And after a good kind of end to the first half, a good team talk, players looking motivated, that is going to probably take the wind out of ourselves. Although we have a chance here. Suarez can he cut inside Haas. Bategeli. Haas. Sonogo hits the crossbar there. The Ivory Coast International almost doubled his goal tally for the game. He's looked really sharp in this game. He stepped up his game. He's trying to carry the squad on his back, but unfortunately right now it's still 3-1. We need really another goal here. Two away goals would be amazing. We're on the attack here. Haas saved by the keeper, and suddenly we're having a few chances, but we need to take some of them. A few half chances coming our way. Granted, Barcelona have been in control. At the end of the day, we're playing at the new Camp. And they're on the attack again. Here. Suarez, Messi, and Messi makes it four. Unfortunately for us, we've just been too frail at the back. We've had our chances. We've not taken them. And Barcelona from four clear-cut chances, scoring four. Messi scoring again, the best player in the world. He must be getting on a bit in this save. But unfortunately for us, he scores again. I don't even want to watch it. Um, Sonogo's looking really tired I'm going to take him off I'd rather be safe rather than risk an injury we've got some big games coming up I don't want to kind of concede defeat in Europe immediately 
here and kind of not even try for the second leg. But with the Premier League campaign we have, the league is my prior priority for at least this season, I kind of feel like. And so I'd rather rest legs in a game that's kind of escaped us and it's going to be very tough to turn things around, even at home in the Lewis Stadium. I mean, looking at it, we've, we've had chances, we've had opportunities. You're never going to be able to outplay Barcelona. They have superior quality to us. And kind of a theme this year seems to be that we've struggled against some of the really big teams, against some of the teams who are really going to give us a challenge. There's been games where they've gone completely in our favour in these big games. I'd look at the Man City game as an example of that. Seaman scores. He makes it 4-2. 4-2 is not a bad result. That kind of gives me hope going into the second leg. But as I was saying, the big games, it's kind of weird. We have seem to have won them really convincingly. I'll give the example again of the Man City game. Or we've lost them narrowly. You look at the games like Manchester United. Um, I guess the draws against Liverpool you could put into a similar thing where it's kind of just... We've not quite had enough about us. But today... Um, has been a blowout. Although 4-2 isn't bad, I guess. If we can defend well here, we have a chance going into the second leg. Although Suarez on the attack is never going to make it easy to defend. Grimaldo, what a goal that is by a left back. Just bends it in from a good 25 yards. Kiraku probably with no chance. I know it's gone in at his near post, but really when the shot's placed that well, you don't really stand much of a chance. And unfortunately, the free goal deficit that Barca had is restored. And... With five minutes left, that is going to be all she wrote for this game. Heartbreaking result, really. I mean, we've not we've taken the game to them and tried to kind of play them at our own game. And to be honest, we as I've said, and I feel like I've said it a few times, we had chances, but we've not taken them. And we go into the second leg, which will be coming up next episode, knowing that it's it's against us. It's going to be against us from the off. But anyway, that's going to finish 5-2. Uh, the next game in this live comment is going to be against Liverpool. I've actually got to dash out to the shops, otherwise I just commentate in between. So I'm actually going to have a cut in recording. But Matthew Lewis will be back for that one. I will join you guys in just a second. And hopefully, touch word, fingers crossed, we can actually get a win against Liverpool, ruin their unbeaten run, and pull away at the top of the Premier League. Okay, guys, so we are back for the Liverpool game. Third in the league, Liverpool. Only lost one league game all year. Only lost two games in all competitions all year. So this isn't going to be easy. Last time we met, we drew. The time before that, when we met, we drew. So hopefully we can get a win here. Looking at the way things have gone, you can see here Manchester United have played an extra game, actually. And they're even on points with us. If we lose this game, it would mean that we've played the same amount of games as as them and they're even with us. It'd also leave Liverpool in a situation where um, they could move right up and get up to 64 points, having played the same amount of games as us. So really we need to avoid a defeat here at all costs. But anyway, um, I'm not starting Matthew Lewis today. Decided it wasn't worth it. I'm sticking pretty much with the same team as the midweek game. I'm going to try and show some faith for these players. Matthew Lewis, not quite at full fitness, so we'll see how these guys get on for us. Uh, hopefully they can turn up big, I guess. There's going to be a big kind of reliance on them to play better than they did against Barcelona. I, I want to stick with the same team. I want to see them prove a point to me that they can battle it out in these big games. Um, so yeah, we'll see how we get on. We are, of course, playing the free at the back system. It lended itself quite well and quite nicely to Liverpool, of course, when we met them in the Capital One Cup. Um, apparently Martinez is looking exhausted and we should consider subbing him. Apparently he got a knock. At least I'll assume that's why he's so tired. And Sonogo has now got a knock too. Now this is not good. We do not want... Knox, we need we need players at full fitness. But looking at it, half an hour in, it's all even. And Snogo hits the crossbar. Batagelli with the rebound to make it 1-0. Snogo, he's not being subbed off even with a knock just because of that. What an effort that is from the free kick. Hits the post, I think, unless the keeper got a hand to it. And it finds its way back to Batagelli. Reacts quicker than all the defenders. And uh, just slots it into the open goal. And we go 1-0 up here against... Uh, against Liverpool, so good good start. Liverpool only lost the one game this year. It was in the um, Merseyside derby that they lost, I believe, three 0 to Everton. And now Batagelli's injured. No, this is not what we wanted. This is not what we planned. Um, well, we'll bring on Mitchell, the German, to play that role. He, he does a good job at the defensive mid role, so I don't feel too bad 
kind of um, having him come on. I don't feel like we're weaker as a team as a result of that. Looking at it, Martinez really is struggling for fitness. I may have to take him off. Worth noting, Sterling's got a knock for Liverpool, but they're going to keep playing him. And Gomez, Kuwaku with the save. Kuwaku makes so many one-on-one -on -one saves. He really allows our system to function. And looking at it, at the break, it's going to be 1-0. And... Um, it's been good. It's been a good first half there. So we'll tell the players we're happy. A big improvement on the last game, of course, against Real Madrid. Uh, Real Madrid. Barcelona. Oh, gosh. If there's any Barca fans watching, I'm sorry. I've just offended you so badly. But either way, looking at the stats, it's been a fairly close game. 50-50 possession. We've barely edged the shots ahead. Both teams with just the one clear-cut chance difference being that we did take ours. And I'm hoping that we can continue this in the second half. And hopefully get what would be a, a really a priceless win. Soros is now injured. Oh dear, this is not good. Ihi Nacho, come onto the pitch. This is where I kind of regret not putting Matthew Lewis just on the bench, really. Could have been useful to come on in this situation. But we'll see if we can get a goal here. Pedrero whips in the cross. It goes through everyone. Right, my though, the German centre-back with the ball. Kicks it to no one. However, Martinez will recover it nicely and tries to play through a ball. And now we're caught out of position completely as Liverpool look to hit us on the break. And right, Maya, that was just a smart, smart kind of clever foul, I guess you could call it, to stop the breakaway there. Good foul by him. And we're able to recollect ourselves. Although Liverpool still with possession from this. Origi looking inside Davis out wide. Going to be looking to whip in the ball maybe. No, no he doesn't. Now we can we break? Come on, Kelechi. Been injured a lot. Been out with an Achilles tendon injury, but he whips in the ball there. Martinez, ball's in the box. Cleared, but only as far as Sonogo. Sonogo edge of the area. Cannot get away his shot. And now Liverpool look to hit on the break. This game has really opened up. And now Origi down the left-hand side. Can we prevent the ball game and we in? We can. Martinez, now there's a chance of a counter. Haas, Fred through Kelechi, Ihi Nacho, Sonogo, please, misses it. Koval with an insane save and oh that was that was a chance that was to double our lead that was clear it was oh dear if we lose this now it's going to come down to another clear cut chance miss good save by Koval though we do still have the ball here can we can we score here Haas what a run this would be Ihi Nacho into the roof of the net is it offside was it offside? It was offside. I had a feeling it was. I didn't want to celebrate too much. And the assistance flag is raised and Kelechi's denied a goal. Good signs though, although Liverpool on the attack here. If we were to have a goal disallowed and miss a clerk at chance, then Liverpool go up the other end and score. That's going to be heartbreaking. And Gomez is through. Kuwaku with the save. I'll tell you what, he is an absolute monster in goal for us. So good when it comes to the shot stop. And he's not the best keeper when it comes to aerial kind of ability he's not the tallest but in moments like that he makes absolutely incredible saves for us so i'm going to move Haas to right mid and then i need to work out a way to try and get a striker sorted um oh dear um i guess we'll just play edder at striker it's not a position he's at all familiar playing in but maybe he can do a job for us the winger Raheem Sterling's gone off with an injury. 15 minutes left. Edda playing out of position. There he is. There he is. He's not a striker. Oh, he Nacho with a chance. Edda doesn't mind not being a striker. He's putting a nice little bit of play there. But unfortunately, he Nacho missing another chance. And now Mitchell's taken a knock. Everyone is getting injured. It's all going horribly wrong. Just going to keep him on for 10 minutes. He's a vital part of our team. Now we're Ihi Nacho having to leave the pitch for treatment. And now we're a man short in the box as the shot comes in. It's scrambled away. Somehow it didn't find its way into the back of the net. And a core there to boot it clear. And with four minutes left, can we hold on for an incredible win here? This would be a massive result. Liverpool only lost the one league game all year. Still a minute on the clock. It's not over yet. Just keep hold of the ball, boys. Just keep hold of it. Keep Okay, I'll just kick it straight to them. I will not celebrate until the final whistle goes as Coutinho is now going forward for Liverpool. Can the ball be prevented going in? No, it can't. And Gomez scores. Ricardo Gomez with a late, late goal. And Liverpool snatch a point. In a game they probably deserved a point in, but that's heartbreaking to lose it like that. 
Akore just didn't deal with the ball, didn't throw his body at it. The attacker wanted it more. Oh, I just I had a feeling. I, I could just sense it as they went forward. I didn't want to celebrate before the final whistle, and that's exactly why. And that was disappointing, boys. Unfortunately, two points lost. Really, we still we still maintain a gap over Manchester United, and we are still seven points clear of Liverpool. Although they they do have that game in hand, but it means with eleven games left of the season, it's not going to be comfortable. But anyway, uh, that's going to wrap things up for this episode, guys. I think the next episode will be the second leg against Barcelona. Hopefully I'll see you guys for that one. If you've enjoyed this video, please do smash the like button. Let me know what you made of the two live comms. Two disappointing results. Hopefully we can bounce back next time. You guys will have to tune in to find out. And uh, yeah, that's all from me. So thank you very much for watching. It is me, Jack, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.